Good morning. I am Dr. Sopwasi V. Nicholas King, an obstetrician and gynecologist. Uh, I'm currently the head of uh, the obstetric and gynecology department of the largest government institution in my country, Liberia, in the name of Redemption Hospital. Uh, I was opportunate to be recommended for this program sponsored by the Merck Foundation. Uh, uh, as gynae oncologist. The burden of cancer in uh, Liberia is uh, enormous. Uh, according to the last report of the VHO in 2020, we reported about 3,500 women who died from cervical cancer and about 900 women who died from breast cancer. These are the two leading cancer in uh, my country. And uh, the approach of care to those cancers is very complicated due to the fact that we have no oncology program, no oncology center in my country. We have no medical oncologists, no gynecologist oncologists, no surgical oncologists. We have a lack of major infrastructures, lack of equipment, lack of treatment material cytotoxic mainly. So we are facing a situation where there was a tremendous need of uh, manpower. So it was uh, a very welcoming news to have such an opportunity to come to India through the Merck Foundation and be trained in order to go back home and take part to the mitigation of the burden of cancer in my country. Coming to uh, the Bibora Cancer Institute to be trained uh, as a gynae oncologist, I had many expectations. Uh, among those, to improve my surgical skill, mainly in uh, radical hysterectomy for the treatment of cervical cancer, the surgical treatment, endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, to learn how to mix cytotoxics in order to be able to not only surgically manage those patients but also be able to have to take part to the continuum of care in administering chemo drugs. Another expectation was to have an understanding of all the various steps that treat that patients have to go through to complete a full oncologic treatment. And this allowed me to, to visit the palliative care, knowing that in our countries, most patients that present at the various hospitals come at very late stage. You know. So this was a wonderful opportunity to visit the palliative care department, the radiation oncology department, the medical oncology department, to not only uh, observe but be fully involved, be fully involved in the treatment of our patients here at Bibor. So I can say uh, at this stage of my training that over 80% of my expectations were met. At the end of this training, I intend going back home to start an oncology department unit focusing on gynae oncology. To be more specific, the cancers that are that represent the major burden in our country, breast cancer, cervical cancer. We intend with uh, the department that's going to be put in place to carry out awareness in the various communities to instruct to inform people about these cancers, how to prevent them. We intend to, with the help of uh, our, Minister of, our Minister of Health, to have a free of charge screening center for cervical cancer and breast cancer. And uh, hopefully, in the future to come, to have a whole team that will help to fight, to make the fight against cervical cancer and breast cancer more effective. Oncology is a uh, 
new field in most low-income middle income countries and uh, African countries, of course, are part of that group of, uh, of countries. Cancer is sometimes viewed as a, a hopeless condition, but that's not the case. We have so many cancer survivors, we can change the narrative. So we encourage other young African doctors to join this fight, to join this program, come here, build your capacity, change this concept of cancer being a deadly condition, change the lives of our people back home and bring back hope in the fight against cancer. Come here, have an open mind because I can tell from my experience so far there are, there are a lot of challenges in this training uh, in terms of language barrier but uh, you need to find a way to adjust, adapt come with your goals already set what do you want to achieve what are your expectations what are the needs in your country that's the only way to have to get the best out of this training program. I would like to use this medium to thank Merck Foundation in the name of uh, its CEO, Senator Dr. Rasha Khalid. I would like to also thank the First Lady of uh, the Republic of Liberia, uh, Madam Clara Weah, and uh, improve the healthcare in my country. Go Liberia!